I've got a nice soft brush and I've got some blobs of paint. Got a pewter gray and a granite gray and a little beige. Now I'm going to experiment with dry brushing. Dry brush that. Just a light drag right across the top. Hmm. Sexy. There we go. That's the dimensionality we're talking about here. And let's flip it around this way. Again, real, real kind of light dabs and drags and all that stuff. Now, where I'm going to change it up, and who knows if this is going to work. It's like it's a crazy mad experiment. I just want to see if a little bit of this beige might be kind of cool to stipple on here. So I'm just kind of stippling. Give it some color variation. Same with on the ground there. Yep, that yeah, looks pretty, pretty cool, pretty sweet. Give a little variety to my colors, to my highlights, really. Because that's what we're talking about here. I have highlighted this stuff. And there is no degree to which this could be perfect, so anything I do with it is going to look cool, as long as I'm dry brushing. And there we have it. Okay, this is kind of a larger base. I've already done all that burnt umber stuff and um, just need to get that, pick out those highlights. So that by itself could be pretty awesome, but I I want to take it up a notch. So I'm going to grab some of this some of this uh, beige. And I'm going to drag that beige across my rocky base here. Give me some variation and stipple it too. Just poke it on, stab it on there, give me some variety over the brown. and the dust is settling in there. Okay, I'll flip it around there. So there's, there's that relatively, it's like dark gray and dark brown. So again, why not just try a little beige on there? See how that goes, stipple, just random spots there. Not gonna overdo it. Okay, there. Now, make sure my dry brush is dry. Go back over and just grab a little more of my um, light gray and just kind of gentle drag that over the top just for good measure. So I've got a little beige, I've got a little gray, I've got a little light gray, I've got a little um, dusting of everything on that. Hey, so here's another one. Um, now this one we decided to do almost like uh, you got the wood support beams popping through those holes and some other wood beam work around the door there you know so that's on both sides so that's gonna want to be brown but before I get that I'm gonna hit up my uh, my light granite gray first and hit my walls All right, now I'm gonna get a smaller brush that isn't falling apart, and I'm gonna go back in and just dry brush some light brown on that woodwork just to make that pop. Okay, I found this really cheap, crappy brush that's made by Crayola, uh, it's for kids. Now I'm gonna use it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the nutmeg. Nutmeg, focus, yeah, there you go. Nutmeg, spill that down, yeah. 
just a tiny tiny bit for some for some woody highlights just chewing just kind of a gentle pull across that and the inside doesn't have to be perfectly covered because this wood should be old and I'm gonna go back over it and hit it up with some more um, of those whiter colors to kind of make it bleached and I'm gonna do that across these bars too just cuz so we'll come back to that after it's dried up a little bit but my guess is, is it's gonna be all good here's another wall now you see I already got some some good distressed wood there but I want to give it some of this woody highlight so I'm gonna make that happen just drag it across there little dry brushy kind of woody highlight on my wood maybe it got burned out maybe it got destroyed during a, a great battle who knows your players won't know they'll just think that it's really dope that you made something to put on the table so either way it's all good if I like it I'll keep it otherwise I'll go over it with a little more highlight now here is a corner DM Scotty style but with uh, some variations so there's some more of those support pieces coming through um, some of the wood big supports and then the crumbly walls there's the inside so this one I already did some brown so I just got to real carefully with my crappy falling apart bristle brush just lighten up some of this mucky muck no problem there real easy just hitting up my edges yep yes indeed hey hey look at that pretty good pretty good it's pretty good okay so this one like my kids and I were just picking up with spare bits leftover pieces and they thought maybe it'd be cool to do some like timbers here but also big weird bricks so okay permission granted It's a freaking miracle. This is the crappiest thing that we did and it looks awesome. Just check that out. That is incredible. Just crap. And now it's legit. Cheers. All right, next up are the larger size buildings. So taking a, a DM Scotty basic idea here. Um, scaling it up a little bit, blowing out a middle hole there, rubble, all that kind of stuff that you'd see, that support column strip, etc., etc. Inside, um, I added my distressed wood there, broken up some floors there. I already got them kind of cleaned up, and then um, kept this base in a pretty large size, so I'm going to embellish that and highlight it and see what we got. Okay, variation on a theme, smaller, DM Scotty style kind of corner piece, but I thought what if it was like a cottage? So I actually put the other wall. I imagined this was a small cottage, uh, about the size of a Dwarven Forge city builder cottage, um, but minus a wall and another wall and just part of a floor there, so just gonna hit this up with the highlights and Shazam, it'll be awesome. Not bad for cardboard and a bunch of rocks. Right? Go explore that. Maybe there's a lich that lives there. Okay, this is the last of the buildings. 
and kind of started off as just a cornered thing but I thought I'm gonna put all three walls so I got a blown out wall there I got a blown out wall there with some support beams and then um, I got a kind of a doorway with some posts sticking out and then on the inside there's like a collapsed wooden area here um, just took a lot of splintered wood painted it up etc etc some wood around the frames some rubble in the corners so it makes for a whole room a whole room to explore if you will and by explore I mean I'm gonna highlight the hell out of it there we go there's some magic right there happening okay happy happy now I'm gonna go do those those highlights on those little brown things right there with my crappy Crayola kids kids uh, brush just do some quick sloppy dirty kind of wood just show you that's how easy that is and it's, it was so dry it's already drying up so now I'm just gonna hit hit right quick over the highlights that's it man just give it a little little once over with the, the light gray so now I got my brown in there but it's not not too warm not too fresh done cheers